Hi, it's Grim IGO with Luxury Gaming, and today we are covering LCS 12, which had 252 players in the event. We are here with June. Uh, he played Dino for this event, but a cool variation with uh, some Shadal cards in it, which uh, came up pretty clutch in the tournament. Uh, go ahead and introduce yourself. Hey, um, RJ and Gata Chris did. Uh, you guys might know me as KYS June. Uh, I played Dino Shadal for this event and got top four. I lost to my friend in top four, who ended up winning the event. I'm real proud of my, <laughs> I'm real proud of my boy. Yeah, that's awesome. Do you have any uh, shout outs before we start? Oh yeah, uh, shout out to all my friends over at WAF who helped me test, who helped me like understand the current meta. Um, especially uh. Brian, you, uh, we played a similar list for the last LCS. We just uh, switched out some cards for a Shadal package. And uh, we'll talk about that more later. And also shout out to Syndicate. That's my, uh, that was my old team. And uh, shout out to Team 100. Those are my German boys. Got you. Well, uh, yeah, let's jump right into the list. All right, for sure. Okay, so... Uh, for the Dino engine, we actually, uh, we didn't make too many changes from last time. All we did was we cut one Animadorned because, uh, I realized that having, uh, as long as you keep one in deck, it's probably fine. You only need to resolve it once a game, probably. And that would be fine. Uh, if you do draw it, then you need to normal summon it probably and it might make your combo a little bit awkward but it's usually fine and since you're only playing one you probably won't draw it like you draw it like once every like five six games like it, it's actually fine to just play one it would uh, if you have room though you can definitely play two uh the rest of the dino package is probably pretty standard including the dig the the four lost world uh and the two pill and the Prospo too also is pretty standard. Now no one's playing Xtrab, I think, because uh you realize that Dino needs uh two like specific cards to go off. And uh when you play a list like this where you're playing all these like blowout cards instead of like hand traps, you're not seeing hand traps when you prospo while going second. So like you're you're actually just seeing six live cards. So uh it's it always has value. Uh, we, we also played Dark Ruler because Dark Ruler and Cosmic are both like immediate outs to Winda. And I actually expected a lot of Shadal this tourney. Uh, I actually only ended up playing against one. Played against literally more prank kids than I played Shadal, which was kind of awkward. But uh, the one Shadal we did play, we just 2 0 which was kind of which was kind of nice, which means uh, the deck did what it was prepared to do. And the point of the doll package is that, oh, I guess we can talk about Phantasme before. Phantasme is similar to Prospo when you play all these blowout cards because uh, when you fix your hand, you can definitely break is the concept of this deck, right? Like if you draw, if you draw well, you can you can definitely break anything, is the concept. So, Phantasmate just makes sure you draw well, right? We're, we're not playing actual hand traps in the main. Like, we're not trying to stop them. We're actually just trying to break. So we're literally just like saying okay to everything and then <laughs> just trying to uh, break and set up our own board. Uh, and Phantasmate is perfect for that. Also versus uh, Dragon Link, uh, Phantasmate will, uh, go one for one with the tidy that they'll set up which is also nice I right, uh the most fun part of the deck again is the shadow part and the reason for this is uh when you resolve this for app cologne uh you resolve aerial and dragon and uh what that does is versus dragon link dragon will deal with the tidying and Ariel will banish uh, the, the Dragon Link Grave, which will use of uh, uh, the most important card to banish is probably Rocket Recharger. 
Uh, also PSD, also LP, like Red MD, Chaos Ruler, uh, the Chamber that'll get revived with Tidying the next turn. Uh, all those cards just have value in Grave, but if you banish them, like their follow up is really awkward, especially without Recharger. Because Recharger is the card that just turns any Dragon Normal into Red MP into more cards, right? But if that if they can't do that, then their follow up is really awkward. Um, also, if you baited out Tidying before you should all fusion, which will come up when you actually Dino combo first instead of opening should all fusion. Then what you do is the last step of your combo becomes go into Verte with the Animadorned and the baby that you'll have left on board after your normal dino combo. I'm sure everyone knows the combo where like you end on a rank four. Uh, usually it's secure Gardna, a baby, and then whatever your pill summon was. But instead of going Gardna, we turn Link Kribo and baby into Verte, and we resolve Shadow Fusion like that. And you want to do that before BP usually because after BP you will uh, you'll probably kill off their extra deck monsters. Um, so when you do resolve that, uh, you get to resolve Shadow Fusion through your deck, and then uh, you get to pop their whatever the field spell they have left over, which is either Ravine or uh, Boot Sector, and that has a lot of value on their turn too. So popping that also kills their follow-up. So basically, Doll Fusion versus is usually like your extender card. Uh, but it can also be a starter by summoning Grista instead, and you get to send one Doll and Misk, and then you only need like a baby to go off from there. And you also get a free body on board. Uh, is there any... Uh, uh, should we you want to talk about matchups, or should we go on the side? Uh, we'll do side and extra, then questions. Uh, you can okay, pick sure. which one. True. Uh, we'll start side, I guess. Uh, okay, so um, the one of the problems with playing a deck like this is if you play into, like, uh, really rogue strategies, uh, something really, like, uh, like fine-tuned to beat like specific decks like this won't like work very well like the, these should all cards might not work in like guru or something so you you need like a generic card like ash in your side since we're not playing it so we, we have to shout out side out doll fusion and aerial and dragon so we put in ash and storm and duster for those and uh for game two against Dragon Link, we actually do try to hand trap them because uh, I think Nibiru has more value than Cosmic when you know it's Dragon Link. Uh, Cosmic is better generically since it also hits Schism. Um, also, Uka. What you do with Uka is you let them go Sphere and then LP, and then LP will summon something, and you Uka and you target the Seedle. And Uka summons the barrier statue. And then at that point, uh, they'll basically just end their turn. And what that means is you're only dealing with seal tidying at most. And you can actually OTK through that. You don't even need Dark Ruler or anything. Also, Uka is one of the hand traps that works really well with Phantasme. Since uh, you Phantasme for four on the LP summon. Or, well, uh, on the LP setup, I guess. Because Striker comes out after LP, and you Phantasm may draw four. If you hit Uka off that, you can summon it off when they trigger LP. Uh, and DDG was the other card. Uh, I actually... Uh, DDG is our go first side card, and I was looking for a go first side card for this format for a long time. And uh, the person who told me that we could try this was, uh, his name's Thriller Beat. He actually DM'd me asking for help with this list, and then we discussed it for a while. And he, he told me, he mentioned this card. So uh, shout out to him for that. Uh, 
this card comes up because uh, as a go first card in Dino, what you want is a card for when you get stopped from comboing, you want a card to not die. And this card makes it really hard for Dragon Link to kill you. Yeah, because, uh, the card is super good. Yeah. Also, uh, if you go uh, game one, if you beat dolls by showing them like all your ghost deck and like blowout cards like if you resolve doll fusion and dark ruler and they're like oh he's just playing a straight up ghost second deck then you can actually just blindside for first versus dolls and you like set this and you have ash like you side out the doll cards and the dark rulers and you just play these like uh it makes the matchup really easy because they just doll fusion you just can't get it it's just like okay kind of over yeah it's nice the, the extra deck uh the gardener the link Krebo, the pentas deck we played all these cards before uh i played lambda without playing any side frames in the main or side because uh uh lambda is to link off the uka and the barrier statue into a light uh if we get the light charmer i might try that but it's probably fine like this because Lambda just looks like a threat to people. Yeah, definitely would scare me. Yeah. I mean, we, we traditionally play Gamma, but we just didn't have Ream on this list. I wanted to find a spot for it, but uh, it was fine without it, I think. Uh, the other, the Nightmares and the Axis Code, that's fine. Uh, we played two Dweller instead of two Dolka because I thought the only deck that would make me go first would be uh, Shadal. And versus Shadal, turn one, you want to make Dweller. And then Dweller has, like, zero stats, right? So Dweller's probably going to die. Like, if they normal summon Alistair, Dweller's probably dying. Uh, so you want to you wanna push back and then make another Dweller. Versus them. Yeah, it's very clever. Uh, Dweller's really good this format, for sure. Okay, and then... Uh... The rest of the rank four package, and then we have the two doll fusions, and that's about it. Nice. Um, yeah. So, um, for this tournament, uh, what was your reasoning for picking Dino uh, for this event? Uh, the reason was I expected like like an exceptional amount of dolls, because my other uh, the other deck I was considering was Dragon Link, and I expected just an exceptional amount of dolls, and I didn't think I was good enough a Dragon Link player to just like play through a doll board like consistently enough and so i decided that this had like the best doll matchup the invoke doll matchup and uh we just played like uh these doll uh the doll engine in the deck to have like a win con versus dragons and uh this is actually a deck that i used to play a long time ago before like arkansas came out <laughs> I was playing Doll Dino, and it was just really fun to just uh, just pull it out again and see what happened. Yeah, dude, I you're definitely clearing back row uh, with this deck. Um, like you have Nightmare, Tornado, and then Shadow Fusion, and Ariel is just crazy. Um, so yeah, yeah I th the I th thing about Ariel is you can actually resolve it twice in a game because uh, you make App Cologne, and then your Tyranno pops App Cologne on their turn. And then App Clone adds back Ariel, and you pitch it again, and you can banish their grave again. Or you can resolve Dragon again, I guess. Yeah, yeah. That's that's very nice. I think the list was honestly uh, perfect. Um, like, seeing you play all day, I obviously we played each other at some point. Um, but not playing much hand traps in the main deck, and then just strong utility cards uh, with Shadal Fusion. And uh, Pink's pretty good this format. It basically baits two things so it's very good in most matches um for the next question uh, i think we already kind of went over it uh for preparation and tech cards uh you were pretty prepared for the uh entire format uh the last thing would be uh what was the most popular decks you played in the tournament uh the most popular decks i played was uh probably dragon link and then the next one's kind of odd but it was pro it was tri brigade uh, I played versus two Tri Brigades, and I played versus two Prank Kids, and those were, uh, shout out to Lund, by the way. Uh, 
the Tri Brigade decks, I was really scared against because uh, I don't actually have like a natural out to barrier statue aside from Dark Ruler. Like it literally has to be Dark Ruler. I'm not breaking a barrier statue unless I have Dark Ruler. So what, if I knew they were playing uh, Tri Brigade, I would actually just go first game one and try to combo them. And it worked against Lun, but it didn't work the first time and I had to go game two, game three. And we did pull it off, but it was actually awful. Tri Brigade matchup is awful. Yeah, especially you played uh, Needle Ceiling, Dinomiscus, and some other traps as well. Right, right. Yeah. Like, play Trap Trap Yeah, is there anything else you'd like to say about the deck or tournament itself before we uh, wrap it up? Uh, no, this tournament was lit. Uh, I had to wake up at 6 a.m., though, because they moved it an hour earlier. And <laughs> my whole meme, the whole tourney was like, oh, American tourney, by the way, start at 6 a.m. <laughs> Yeah, there we go. Well, yeah. I mean, I'm okay with it, even if uh, they do it again the next time, because as long as they tell me, you know. Yeah, you'll yeah. definitely be prepared for it. Well, uh, yeah, thank you so much, man, and congrats on the top. Oh, thank you. Thanks for having me, man. Yeah, no problem. And uh, thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed the deck profile. Uh, Shout-outs to Luxury Sponsors, MetaMats, Imperial, Maggio Daily. And uh, don't forget to like and subscribe, and see you guys in the next one.